Hello, I'm Richard from UK Home Cinemas and I've got a video to share with you. It's a time lapse of a recent project where we created a really lovely looking cinema room on a modest budget, but we still managed to have the speakers hidden behind an acoustic screen and behind fabric lined walls. These photos are from our initial visit to discuss the project. At this point, our clients had already installed a raised floor and a coffered ceiling with the intention of making the room into a home cinema but they felt that the room didn't really have the wow factor that they were hoping for. So we designed a scheme which would fit in with the work which had already been done by their builders. Our plan was for the room to be lined with a series of rectangular areas of fabric with LED strips set into the spaces between some of the fabric panels. One of the first steps was to get the walls painted black. I'm gonna explain later why we did this, but first let's crack on with the time-lapse video. Our clients told us that they want to put the main emphasis on making the room look amazing, ideally with the speakers completely hidden behind some kind of wall panels with LED strips. We decided to fit wooden battens to the walls, then fix a track and fabric system to the battens. This would leave enough space behind the fabrics to conceal the audio-visual cabling, together with some acoustic treatments and some very slim speakers. We plan to use an acoustically transparent fixed frame projection screen so that the sound from the front three speakers could come through the screen. Acoustically transparent fabrics can sometimes be visually transparent in certain lighting conditions. So we decided that the side and front walls of the room should be painted black before we put in the track and fabric so that that would reduce the risk of seeing the outline of cables and speakers behind the fabric. I'm usually the design lead for our projects and I work with our team on site for each installation. We were just about ready to start. We had the hotel booked and the van loaded when I tested positive for COVID. This was a bit of a concern for the project, but we made the decision that the installation should go ahead without me. I did do a bit of extra design work from my spare room to pass on the finer details to the team without needing to be there. I needn't have worried, of course. Our guys have built quite a lot of cinema rooms and they didn't have any major problems. In fact, they said they got on very well without me constantly bothering them. Of course, they did pass me quite a large bar bill at the end of the project. The existing ceiling coffer was a suitable size to accept nine Starscape star ceiling panels Again, the emphasis here was on how the room would look. And these really deliver that wow factor. The stars even twinkle. If you're considering your own home cinema project, why not give us a call or check out our website, ukhomecinemas.com. We can offer you a package price for a basket of equipment tailored exactly to your room. We can also offer to carry out room layout design for you and system design. Or, of course, we can do the whole project for you. So, a quick explanation about the track and fabric. The track is a plastic track which we cut with a mitre saw to form shapes with mitered corners, a bit like a picture frame. We fix it to the wall and then hold up a piece of fabric in front of the track, cut roughly to the right size. The fabric pushes into the track using a special tool to form a lovely beveled edged panel of fabric which has a space inside it where we put the speakers and acoustic treatments. and I did finally make it to site for the commissioning and Control 4 programming. This is me replacing the regular light switches with Control 4 dimmers for scene-based lighting control.
What we're doing here is we're making some slim panels out of plywood upholstered in the same fabric because the panels around the door needed to be slimmer in order for the door to be able to open properly. Our client already had some LED strips, so we reinstalled those into aluminium channel with frosted covers and we fitted up lighter mouldings to house them. And now it's time to bring in some seats. So, quick whirlwind tour of the finished cinema room. Got a sky menu up on the screen currently. I'm really pleased with the way the fabric panelling's worked out. With LED strips set into it. We've got the equipment in a small equipment cabinet at the back here. And we've got a control four system to control everything. Everything controlled from this remote. And we've got the control four dimmers here to control the room lighting. This reasonably priced Epson projector has three imaging panels, one for each of the three primary colours. The result is a superb flicker-free image. The same is true for the Sony and JVC home cinema projectors, which we also use on our projects. And the projectors mounted on one of our own ultra-low profile ceiling brackets. And these are available to purchase on our website, ukhomecinemas.com. And a few weeks later, some nice new seats were added. So, that's the finished room. I hope you like it. And of course, if you have a home cinema project of your own that you're considering, we'd be really pleased to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.